Gentlemen, welcome back to the Tiege Hanley starting a business, building a brand vlog. This one, big number 75. So this video is going to be long, but there is going to be there are going to be so many business related lessons along the way that uh, get a cup of coffee, get a bottle of water, get get comfortable because uh, this story is just weird and bizarre. And if you would have told me six months ago, three months ago, two months ago that I would be the proud owner of the Fashion Anchor, one of the proud owners, I'll tell you about that in a second. I would have laughed you out of the room because there was no way in there is no chance that I was going to be part of this damn thing because I was so mad and I just all right. <laughs> so before I get into that, uh, actually I should just get into that. T. Shanley, we'll catch up with next week. Um, quick update: developer. We're talking to developers again, and we think we have a good solution. I think the new website will be built, launched, rocking and rolling in about a month. Maybe. Big maybe. Anyway, back to the story. So here's the deal. The Fashion Anchor was invented by a friend of mine, John Yazel. And John, um, the way that I met John, basically about five or six years ago, I think it was five, five years ago, um, he reached out to me. He watched my YouTube channel. At the time I had like, I think it was like 30,000 subscribers. Um, and he's like, hey, I, I, he, re he reached out and he's like, hey, I, I, I watch your channel. I've developed this little thing that is going to keep pocket squares from sinking down into your pocket. Can I send them to you to sort of get your feedback? Now, if this would have happened today, I would have been like, whatever, Debbie, my assistant, handle that. I don't want to talk. I, I get bombarded by emails, people wanting to send me, people needing help, and, and I've had to really just say, uh-uh, I, I can't, I got to take care of me. Um, learning to say no. That is a, definitely a business lesson that everybody should, uh, <laughs> should figure out sooner rather than later, because once you start doing things, people seem like they come out of the woodwork to uh, ask for help and, and want something from you. Anyway, this was back when I was excited. I, I wasn't really thinking that YouTube was ever going to be a career. I never knew that it could be a career, to be completely honest. I just knew that I had videos and, and it was a lot of fun and, and people were watching them based on, on style tips and advice. And so I said, yeah, sure, send me them. Let me check them out. And so he sent me um, just some loose, a loose sheet, all right, something that looked like this. And, um, and I got them, and, and what, what they are, these little perforated, um, double-sided, little, they look like little glue dots. Um, and he said, just stick it behind your, your pocket square and stick your pocket square once it's in your pocket, and it won't move all day long. I tried that, and I'm like, okay, but how big of a problem is this really? And I started messing around with it, and I'm like, yo, I actually wrong side. Actually, that one already has one. Put it under my collar, took it off, and then I went like that. I thought, wait a second. Pocket square, this thing is incredible. It totally solves the problem I was having with all of my collared shirts. Um, at the time, I was pretty much every day wearing a button-up shirt with a collar. And I never really was into button down collars. And so I'd always have these collars. And after a day or two or three, they were just, they, they would start to get all crazy nuts. I put them underneath my collar, I stuck it down, and it fixed it. And I said to him, I said, Oh, you've got a much more important and better invention than I think you realized. I used it for this, I used it for that. I, I, I actually, there's another use that people use these things for. You know how sometimes, um, when you've got a shirt on, it's like one button undone is, it feels like you're, you look a little bit uptight. Two, you look like a guido. Um, what you could actually do is take one of these, and it might not work because I have a mic on. Well, anyway, you get the idea. Stick it there, right? Place it, and it holds all day long. Um, and so it's almost like a hidden button. When you know you, one is not enough, two is too many, right in between that second and third button, you can pop one, and it's like the perfect way to wear your shirt unbuttoned. Um, and then, when you're finished with them, all you do, you pull it apart, you grab one corner, 
and slowly pull it off and it leaves absolutely no stain, no residue. You never knew it was there. So I, I think, I can't remember how it sort of happened, but I, I know that at the time he was thinking about naming it something else and I said, oh, it's kind of more like a uh, fashionable like anchor or something like that. And so the name Fashion Anchor was born. Um, and he came out with it. He launched the product and he was like, hey, would you be interested in, in promoting these? And this is where it kind of gets a little bit fuzzy for me. But um, I was like, yeah, we worked out some type of commission where I got a special code and I got commission. Well, I did a video when I was, I, I compared the working stiffs, which are a magnetic, I'll actually link to the video down below, it's old. Um, and it's a pretty funny video if you guys are interested in it. Um, and it compares like the working stiffs to the regular plastic collar stays to the fashion anchor. And the Fashion Anchor just crushes every other product because it's so incredibly versatile. Another issue that you run into is that polo shirts, right? Like the shirt I'm wearing. Generally speaking, polo shirt collars absolutely suck the big one all the time. You get them and they look okay, but then after a few wears, a few washes, they just go all crazy. And that's one of my biggest pet peeves. And so I started promoting the Fashion Anchor. Um, and I don't know how it happened, but um, John and I, we, we stayed in touch, we talked, we met a few times, and I really liked him. He and I just got along really well. And, and the thing that I really love about John is that he is incredibly creative. He's one of the most creative guys that I've ever met. Um, and he's, he's just, he's creative. He actually designed my media kit for um, Alpha M. I, at the time, I was just sending like this like crappy email. He's like, hey, you want to look more professional put together and actually make more money? Hire me to actually build you a proper media kit with like clickable links and all that to your videos and you'll make more money. And at the time, he was going to charge me like $1,200 for this. And I'm like, what? $1,200? That's insane. That Long story short, I paid it and immediately it worked. It made me look more pre uh, presentable, professional, and it was awesome. And so that was one of the first things I had him do for me creatively. Um, so we developed a, a, a friendship and all along this time, John had been talking to me about, hey, you know, maybe, you know, it'd be great if you actually became part owner or did he say that or was I thinking that? Um, maybe I was thinking that. I knew it. <laughs> I don't remember exactly. So I help promote Fashion Anchor. It starts doing pretty well. Um, I start selling it on my website, I am Alpha M, and it became my number one seller like immediately. People love these things. I love these things. And so it was a really easy product to get behind and promote. Um, this whole time, he and I were talking about, oh, potentially me coming on and being partners. And, and you know, one of the sticking points was that I know my value and it didn't exactly align with what he thought and what his business partners thought my value um, would be. And there's the big, one of the big lessons of, of the day is that he had two additional business partners, his wife and his wife's cousin who invested like, uh, like $20,000. And, um, and so, you know, you've got these people that own 100%, I come in and it's like, well, hang on. So his business partner was his wife his wife's cousin and him, and they owned 100% of it. Um, and so for me, it was like, well, if I'm coming in, it was something where I was like, I'm not giving money because I, I have enough value. And if I'm your partner, I can, I can basically take the promotional weight of a business and, and the issue with, with you know, finding that audience, I take that away. And so having me as a business partner is a great thing. Um, especially when it's a product like this that I love that, that is inexpensive, it's, it's reusable, or it is reusable. You can use them until you wash your shirt or take them off. And so I love the business and, and they seem to think that, nope, uh, we, need, we need money. And I'm like, well, we'll wait, deuces, I'm out of here, no way. Um, and so it came to where he's like, well, we need money though. We need, we need to buy inventory, we need this. And I'm like, okay, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do a loan, a business loan. And so um, it was. It was for ten thousand dollars, and it was. There was a payment plan. We. This is another lesson. <laughs> Don't lend money to friends or family um, and expect it back. 
So anyway, so I lend this money and I said, hey, after you, the, you sort of get in a good position, let's have a conversation because I really think that, that I should become part of this. And he, they agreed. Well, during the time, and I didn't really talk to John for, I guess it was like a month. I gave him like three months to start paying me back. And I didn't really talk to him all that much during this time. All of a sudden, it came time to actually pay me back and I didn't get a payment. I didn't get a call. Come to find out, um, John and during this time, this three month period, John and his wife separated and there were some issues with, with bank accounts and money and he actually um, used the money on another idea that he had for these, these um, watch, watch straps, watch bands. And he had told me about the watch brands before, but I'm like, no, do not use my money for that. Use it for the fashion anchor. I know that product, I know it sells. And he used it on the watch straps and did not actually handle his business with the fashion anchor. And um, I freaked out. I freaked out bad. And so eventually I did get repaid the $10,000, but at that point I took all my videos down for the fashion anchor. I stopped promoting it. It was like, uh-uh. I'm not helping anymore. And, um, and it was hard. It, 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 it was hard because not only did I lose a friend because we ceased being friends because I felt like he lied to me and, and took advantage of me and all sorts of things that you shouldn't feel like when <laughs> you have a friend. And, um, and so we basically didn't speak for, this was almost two years. And, um, and so he ended up paying me back and, and, and long story short, he and I reconnected. It was, it was for StyleCon, like, I guess it was like two years ago or a year, I forget what it was. It's, it's also, it's been so long and the story is so sort of all over the place. Um, but we reconnected and we started talking again. I still wasn't promoting the fashion anchor and he was still going through a divorce. Um, and the problem, the big issue was the fashion anchor. What are you going to do with the business and how is he going to, you know, buy her out and he really didn't have a good, you know, income stream and the business was pretty much shut down and, and um, long story short, John met a guy, Brian, who was a friend of John's who invested in John's. <laughs> this, this story, I'm sorry, it is all over the place. Um, so Brian invests in John. Brian is a really smart guy and he, uh, you know, John is incredibly charismatic. And, and when John talks about things, you get excited because he's so excited about it. Brian invests and thinks that he's investing in not only the watch strap company, but the fashion anchor. And um, come to find out that John was not allowed to sell the fashion anchor. Anyway, long story short, I come into the picture and they're sort of figuring out what amount of dollars his ex-wife would take to basically wipe her hands, it's been two years, let's get divorced and let's settle things with the fashion anchor. So she gave John a number. I will accept X to basically wipe my hands, you can have everything, I will sign whatever you want, I have no interest in the fashion anchor and we are divorced. And so um, it was around about probably three weeks ago, <laughs> honestly, I mean, it's been, it's been relatively recent. Um, she gave the number and I came up with the plan, part of the plan. We all sort of collectively came up with the plan of, um, here's how it's going to work. Brian, put up the money. John, make sure she doesn't change her mind. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and take the majority ownership in this business. I'm not going to put any money up to buy it away from her. You guys handle that. But what I will do is once it is secured, it's away from them, I will buy the opening inventory. I will also buy, um, you know, the, the, the packaging and I will run everything out of my, my facility where I ship Pete and Pedro. I've got sort of a built in, um, you know, fulfillment center here at, at Alpha M headquarters. And so got a website built, got everything, up, launched, and literally we just kind of launched um, this past week. Um, I did a video where I integrated very subtly on the, on the screen. I, I said, uh, meet my new company, and I, I used the fashion anchor in a style hack video, which um, sort of launched it. 
And um, I'm really excited. This, this is a product that I've wanted to be part of for, shoot, for five, five six years. Um, it just never has worked out until now. And um, I'm really excited to see where we can take it. It's been really hard. It's been hard emotionally. It's been something where I, I thought about it. Do I do it? And, and at the end of the day, if I didn't take this chance or this risk on this product, um, I would regret it. And to be completely honest, here's the other beautiful thing about the position in which I sit today is that it's sort of limiting. My risk is very limited. Personally, my risk is limited. I didn't have to come up with some crazy amount of money to buy something out. I'm basically coming in and saying that I know that I can sell this. I've got an audience. I knew that it was popular and I sold it, you know, a few years ago and people loved it. And so, you know, just knowing what I can do with products and how I can sell things, the risk is super low. And so we launched and everything is going well. It's not, I don't think, ever going to do the Tej Hanley numbers, to be honest. I think Tej Hanley is a product that is like nothing else that's out there. And I think it's just, it's it's as close to flawless as possible, or as you can get in terms of, of a product. Um, this is a good product. It's, it's going to, you know, it's going to resonate with some people. It's not going to resonate with people. It's a $15 product. It's not a subscription. It's not, it's, it's just a cool, affordable product. I'll link down below along with a discount code. If you guys want to check it out. Um, we've got to redo the video that's on the website. It just, Honestly, John, it's John in the video and, and you see his, his beard is just unruly and I think it kind of is a little nasty. Uh, so we're going to definitely redo that. But other than that, I'm excited. Um, I made the decision late last year that I was not taking on any more products, any more responsibilities. I was just going to focus on sort of what I have going on with Tej Hanley, Pete and Pedro, um, Alpha M, my YouTube channel, which is a business, Menfluential Media, which is a advertising agency, um, the conference, Menfluential Conference that I do with Antonio. I was going to focus on those businesses. I didn't have time for anything else. But when this opportunity came up, it was one of those things where it was, it's like the only product that would get me to jump into something else. Um, it takes energy, it takes effort, it takes personal bandwidth in order for, for me to do this and promote it and, and to, to have this business, but um, I would regret it if I didn't. And it's something where I almost feel like it's my destiny. <laughs> I've, been, I've been through so much, so much heartache, so much just craziness with it that um, I'm just happy that it finally is, has come to fruition and, and I'm hopeful that it, that it will do well. And, and um, it'll be a success. I don't know, but that's the fashion anchor story. And I apologize for rambling. I'm a, I apologize if it didn't make any sense. I'm probably leaving out a bunch of stuff, um, but <laughs> I'm just so, so thrilled that it's over and um, I can run, run, run hard, run fast and, and make it something that I, that I truly believe it, it could and should be. And that's my story, guys. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I know I've danced around this for the past two vlogs, uh, but I wanted to talk to you about it, tell you about it, uh, because I'm excited about it. And it's definitely, hopefully you got some type of lesson from, from my heartache and, and the process in which I've taken in order to, to be part owner of this. And there are three of us. It's me, Brian, and John. Um, John still has a piece of this. Uh, Brian and I have the majority of it and are going to do some really great things. And so John gets to do what he does, which is be creative. Let's me do what I do, which is promote and, and, and run things. And Brian is such a smart guy in terms of analytics. Um, he actually started a company called Oats Overnight that basically went from like zero to like, you know, 100K a month in literally like a few months. And um, he's just a really smart guy. That business is, is, is very capital intensive though. And it's, it's a hard business. He's, he, he spends a lot of money on Facebook advertising and remarketing in order to generate that 100,000. Um, he does not have fashion anchor margins, unfortunately, but it's a really cool product. And Brian, like I said, incredibly smart guy. And I'm just fortunate 
I feel fortunate that, that he is my business partner now. And so all the documents have been signed, the bank account set up, incorporated, we are officially launched and rocking and rolling. Guys, oh, another cool thing is that this new website is actually Shopify and it was my first Shopify experience. Um, I use WooCommerce for my other stuff and it is incredible. It's so easy. It's like, where have you been my whole life, Shopify? And so I think Shopify is going to be the solution for Tiege Hanley and uh, we're excited to kick that off next week all about Tiege. We got lots of stuff going on, exciting stuff to talk about. Until next time, thank you so much. I love you more than my double monk strap and fashion anchor collar stays. Guys, you rock so hard. It is ridiculous.